There is no race that is shepherding humanity as if you are the children and they were the parents. Yet you have potential allies whom you may engage with in the future. If ever you are to establish and maintain the three requirements for freedom that we have mentioned. At this point humanity is not ready for contact. And that is one of the reasons why the intervention is inappropriate and unethical. Humanity is unable to engage wisely with the greater community. It lacks the maturity, the unity, the strength and the discernment to be able to do this effectively. To engage with humanity under these circumstances is to take advantage of its weakness and its lack of wisdom and expertise. You cannot help a young race by interfering and trying to control its destiny. And no nation that is wise would try to attempt this. Those that do are here for their own purposes and are seeking the fulfillment of their own goals. Humanity has built up layers of expectation, fantasy and belief that make it impossible for you to contemplate the reality of life beyond your borders or to see that the greater community is an expression of nature on a vast and incomprehensible scale. Here the laws of nature still continue and still limit the movements and the behavior of races. Technology cannot overcome this completely. Many people may be disappointed by the universe that we are presenting, but this is the real universe that you will have to contend with, and you ignore the gifts of this vision at your own peril. The greater community is not a human universe governed by human values, human aspirations, human wishes or human history. Even the races close to you, relatively speaking, in this region of space are entirely different in appearance, in thought, in behavior, in the structure of their societies and civilization and in their emphasis. They would be incomprehensible to you, as you are incomprehensible to them. Humanity is viewed by those few races who pay attention to this world as being chaotic, unruly and potentially dangerous. You are certainly not highly regarded for the way the earth is being exploited and its wealth is being plundered. You do not realize how valuable a tree is in the greater community, how valuable seeds are. The great need for fluids from plants and animals in the problem in securing biological resources and rare metals. That is why humanity is viewed as reckless and without wisdom. Even though your competitors have no regard for you. Your allies recognize the power of knowledge that exists within the human family and its potential to guide you in the right direction and to prevent you from being easily seduced or to succumbing to your own weakness or to the persuasions of other races who would take advantage of your situation and your circumstances. Your focus on war is entirely inappropriate in the greater community that you will encounter where violence is extremely rare and is greatly suppressed. You will not be able to go out into the universe to exploit all the resources you have destroyed here on Earth without engaging yourself permanently in a complex network of trade and commerce over which you will have little or no authority. These are some of the corrections that must be made if humanity is to approach the greater community objectively. Utilizing your awareness of nature, your awareness of your own history, the history of intervention in your world and what native peoples must do to establish their sovereignty and their self-determination amidst the presence of foreign and unanticipated powers. Do not think that your subjugation represents your destiny, do not believe that another race will come and govern you with wisdom and compassion. Do not think that gaining ever higher levels of technology will assure you any greater advantage in the greater community beyond the requirements of establishing your unity, your self-sufficiency and your discretion. Technology becomes ever more hazardous. It begins to work against everything you have created for yourself. Your greatest defense against exploitive powers in the universe is your unity, your self-sufficiency and your discretion. 
Certain levels of technology will have to be established to meet the needs of humanity in the future and to discern the presence of foreign visitors. But because you live in a well-inhabited region of space, you have certain advantages that prevent others from attempting to use force against you. As races evolve they begin to realize that force is destructive and that persuasion is far more beneficial, though perhaps more time-consuming. This represents their strength and your weakness. But because knowledge is alive within you, this weakness can be overcome. The great opportunity for humanity is to finally achieve a state of unity, stability and security, security within and security without. Without this security, life is hazardous and continuously problematic and discordant. You are entering a period now within your own world where stability and inner security will become ever more important. Supplanting your emphasis on growth and expansion. Requiring different kinds of behavior and a far greater degree of cooperation and assistance within the human family. Adversity here is your ally if you can utilize it correctly. It is a decision not only for your leaders but for your citizens as well. It is time for humanity to become mature, to enter into a more mature phase of its long history, to unite to establish a permanent and stable residence in this world and to establish boundaries and discernment regarding your interaction with other races. If your emphasis on growth and expansion continues, you will move right into the greater community in the most vulnerable position you can imagine. We warn you against that. Our presence here is a reminder that there are races in the universe who are free, who have earned their freedom and who have had to take great actions to restore their freedom whenever it has been threatened. The universe is a hazardous environment but a maturing environment as well. You cannot be like adolescents functioning within this sophisticated environment. These words represent part of our gift to humanity. A gift of wisdom, given without interference, given without manipulation, given without the effort to control or overtake human thought or behavior. It is a gift of incomparable value if you can receive it and apply it in your own world. In your own circumstances. The risks are immense. The requirements are great. You do not have a great deal of time to prepare for the greater community. Life is moving quickly. The earth is being overwhelmed. You are destroying your life-giving resources at a very fast rate. Therefore, you do not have much time. And we pray and trust that our guidance and counsel can be received as a gift of respect from our nations to yours. And that our intentions for you are clear and will not fall under suspicion. We have no design to engage with your world. For you are far from being ready for any real contact that would be beneficial to us. We do not seek what your world possesses. For we have attained self-sufficiency, which is perhaps the greatest achievement that any race can establish and maintain in the universe. Perhaps in the future we may share more of how we have established our societies. But for right now there are greater matters at hand. You have greater issues to attend to, you must promote human unity. You must encourage the cessation of war for the reasons we have given for the security of the world and its position within a greater community of intelligent life, human unity, self-sufficiency and discretion are necessary if humanity is to gain freedom from constant intrusion and intervention from the greater community. Here humanity must establish its own rules of engagement regarding any visitation to this world and establish a boundary to space over which humanity can preside. Humanity has been given by right and heritage dominance within this solar system as your natural sphere of influence. But beyond this you cannot extend yourself, nor should you, unless guided by knowledge and wisdom. 
These are recommendations and corrections. Heed them well. For they will serve you now. You cannot afford to indulge in fantasies and wishful thinking regarding the greater community in which you live. You must become strong and determined and you must gain access to the deeper knowledge that is within you. That is free from error and that cannot be persuaded by anything beyond the will and the power of the creator of all life. It is this knowledge that will resonate with our words and that will demonstrate to you our true intent and your great promise for the future. There are many voices speaking to the world. Knowledge will tell you what to listen to, but your connection to knowledge must be true. It must be deep and it must be strong. You are born to live in these times and to face these challenges, so the creator of all life has endowed you with knowledge that can lead you to do this correctly and effectively, both for the present and for the future. Freedom is difficult to achieve and to maintain, but its reward is beyond estimation. Never forget this. Your freedom, our freedom and the possibility for freedom elsewhere represent the true expansion and evolution of life and the greatest promise and achievement for all who are living in this vast universe. Good luck and be love.